everyone. Hey guys, how are you going? Well, it's a little while since we uh, touched base with everyone. Uh, we've been a bit quiet. Yeah, uh, we've had a bit on. Um, been on with our kids and our grandkids and, and our parents, of course, you know. But uh, uh, we're, we're actually uh, hit the road and we're down in Victoria. We're actually in Melbourne today. Yeah, and it's a bit of a sad day. Um, but it's also an exciting day. It's a sad day because um, we're losing our ranger. We're just about to pull up at a dealership and uh, we're going to um, unveil our new car. So yeah. that's really exciting and we want to bring you along on the journey. So keep watching because uh, we're just about there and uh, you'll see Yes, you'll what we're see. excited about. Yeah, you'll get to uh the whole experience as we get the whole experience so keep watching well here we are it's really we're really excited we're pulled up outside the dealership and it's on a really busy street so a bit of background noise but um yeah i wonder if you can guess what we're getting and of course with the big new caravan as we turn around if you have a look over our shoulder it is of course a ram. Yeah. Yep, so uh, Bob's getting his uh, dream car today, <laughs> so really excited. We're going to head in and uh, show you what we've got. So here we are guys, and gee, just behind us is the new car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to unveil it very soon. So I just want to shout out to Declan um, and to Suzanne at um, Brighton Rand here in Melbourne. Um, Declan ripped us off from all the work. <laughs> Suzanne tried to help us out with all the extras on the car. So if you're down this way or you're looking for a Ram, 100% uh, we endorse um, Brighton Ram and, and give these guys a big shout out. So we'll catch you on the road soon. Okay, so um, we're here at uh, Iron Man in Wodonga. Okay, it's called Get Off Road. Uh, called here before when we had the Rangers, and these guys have been fantastic doing a bit of work on the car for us, and now they've done a bit of work on the Ram. So we'll go on inside, meet Keenan, we'll, Keenan will tell you what they've done for us.
Right. So this is just a little fill-in because we lost a bit of footage uh, from when we picked the ram up and we had some work done. So a bit of, a, a big shout out to Keelan. And part of the video we missed was Keelan was telling us what we were, what he'd done to the to the ram. So I apologise for that. That was we just blew it. Uh, it got corrupted. So I'll do it quickly now and Jen will fill it in. So again, different hat, different shirt, but anyway. So what we've done to the rear and the front of the ram, Keelan's fitted um, poly air airbags, uh, larger, larger coil springs, and foam cell shock absorbers, Pro, what's called pro foam cell shocks on the rear. And on the front, we've put different coils on the front. We've lightened the front coils up, but we've put heavier duty uh, adjustable shockies on the front. Uh, and we've leveled the car out ready for towing. So the reason we've put the airbags and the reason we've done the rear end of the of the ram up is because typically the ram comes with only a, a payload of only about 830 kilo. And and over the rear wheels we're running standard, it's only a bit they're only about 1770 kilo weight load. So you really need to beef up the rear end of the ram to be safe enough to tow <coughs> the our rig at about 3,500 or three and a half ton. So we've done that. It's performing beautifully. Uh, we've got a bit of stuff in the back. Um, the reason we've done that on the front is because we can adjust the front up if we add a bit of weight and eventually we put a bull bar, which we're not planning on doing, but if that happens, gives us that flexibility. So um, the guys have done all our vehicles now and, um, um, and the Ram's no exception. And at this point in time, towing the van the ram is performing beautifully uh, suspension wise we're running I'm running 35 psi in the airbags at the moment um, we've tried it with 20 we've gone up to 50 we're back at 35 and it seems to be very very comfortable at 35 so um, so far the ram we've towed the van for 9,000 kilometers in that 9,000 kilometers we're running at 20.4 average over 9,000 k. Uh, I travel at about, we, or we travel at about 95 kilometres an hour um, and just poke along. We don't push it too hard, but uh, it gives us uh, pretty good fuel consumption given that the petrol's a little bit cheaper than diesel at the moment, we might say. I haven't changed tyres. I will when these are worn out. Um, and obviously we'll run UHF and um, yeah, we're really comfortable with the way the ram's set up now and, and, and it's very, very safe.